you can make your own conspiracy theory. And if you have enough conviction and some good graphics, maybe use Canva or something, you can convince a lot of people into your nonsense. So go for it. I really want to see what you leave a comment, what you're going to create. No, no, don't even tell us. Just do it. And then I'll, 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 I'll join. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jericho, and this is Zap Right. <laughs> We've been now six-time international award-winning Poppy Pop Duo Band of Future. Hey, keep it together, brother. We <laughs> make clean fun music that everyone can listen to with the sound that's uniquely California, and you are now tuned in to the Watch Zap Laugh podcast. Just kidding. You're now tuned in to the Life of the Circus podcast where we talk about things that are funny, interesting, and just straight up ridiculous. So before we get started, please do us a big favor. Make sure to like, subscribe comment and share this video with at least two people who believe who are believers and numb ones, gums believers in numb gums conspiracy theory numb gums numb gums <laughs> I don't think it's going to catch on, but conspiracy theories, right? So like the things where you, they think it happened, but they can't prove it because the theory is like, you know, something that's not proven. So I want you to stay tuned to the end because there's one that I love. This is basically the top three funnest conspiracy theories, I'd say, because a lot of them are kind of dark, you know, 9-11, the moon landing, whatever. But there's some that are a little more entertaining, and I think they're hilarious that people do actually believe them in mass and i want to tell you why they're wrong and also uh it's just it's just an interesting idea that you want to well i'll ask you this app why do you think people come up with these what is the deal why would people just go out of their way to not only come up with something they can't prove but then also to try to convince a lot of other people that they are correct about this thing uh i don't know about um uh other people but for myself it's always when like something doesn't quite add up mm -hmm. and then i try to like make i try to make it make sense for me and so i guess that's a conspiracy how you can become a conspiracy theorist but like you tell me two plus two is seven and i'm just like, mm. say, like even if all the evidence adds up to the contrary you still believe in the conspiracy oh. Uh, yeah, I think it's different for every everything. That that sure. had, I won't just I won't just say no just to say no, but like there has to be something that just doesn't make sense for me, and then I'm like, nope, I can't believe I can't if I can't believe part of it, I can't believe all of it. Okay, well, it, I'm gonna just present three because I think these are ridiculous that people. Okay. <laughs> in mass believe and like really fight for so <clears throat> number three is a flat earthers is a what oh flat earth flat earthers oh. okay and i mean <clears throat> it goes deeper than i thought <laughs> as far as how many people believe it and to what degree okay now there is a quote that i like by mark twain it says no amount of evidence will ever persuade an idiot and this is a perfect uh, explanation of why flat earthers believe what they believe, because it just doesn't matter what you say. Look at all the planets. Look at the definition of the way that the universe works. Everything is round, and this is how gravity works, and it's a spherical thing. doesn't matter. doesn't matter. So the flat earthers have, and it's something that started, I think, in the 50s, but it had a resurgence in the 2010s for whatever reason. There's a couple of guys. One is Eric Dubé, and he made basically 200 proofs. 200 proofs that was published in 2016 that the Earth is flat, right? And this is one example. Let's just give you an example. There's, two of, there's 200 of these, right? And they all go like this. <clears throat> Proof 199 is, well, Isaac Newton and Neil Armstrong and Galileo, they were all Freemasons. Therefore, the world is flat. That's what I'm talking about. That's literally what they say. Literally. So, okay, sure, whatever you want, bro. Cocaine is a hell of a drug, man. I mean, interesting. We'll talk about that in another episode. That's weird. Uh, prophetic. Not exactly that, but you know what I mean. Anyway. <clears throat> 
Hi, mom. So Mark Sargent, <laughs> he wrote a book, Flat Earth Clues. And it basically just started this thing where it's like, oh, you can't see beyond the, the beyond the horizon. So it's flat, right? And so there is, if you want to go, every year there's a flat earth convention in Cary, North Carolina. And you can go and meet with all the other flat earthers. And... <laughs> Like, have you ever been in a pl anyway? I, these people are like the definition of what's wrong with the world. Like, here's all the evidence, and then just look at it and look at science. Anyway, anything you want to confirm this, and they won't hear it. And it's like, are they just doing it to be defiant? I, I don't know. Do you have any? Do you, do you have any flat earthers in your family? Are you a flat earther, man? Because you can you can you can be honest on the pod. I will laugh uh, in your face. No, but. because I've flown an airplane. That's what I'm like. I don't. <laughs> we can go up now and look down and see, <laughs> like what's happening. It's all. Yeah, I, don't, I don't. I don't get it. I don't know. But it's all an illusion. But anyway, the flat earthers are are the they're they're funny because they're in in mass. There are a lot of them, and people. I think people say it to be. Some people say it to be, just outlandish. Kyrie Irving, for example. I'm like, really? You. You went to Duke, dude. You're not dumb. Uh, anyways, if you're flat earther, you're dumb. That's what I'm trying to say. Just, just, Dang. just, I have no other way to, I'm moving on. <clears throat> My frustration. Uh, the second one is one I didn't really know too much about, like, as far as having it be called a, a, a thing, but birtherism? You know about that? I've never heard of that. Okay, well, birtherism all revolved around <laughs> obesity. It's literally a theory about his not being a U.S. citizen so that he shouldn't have been president. That's the whole thing. Everyone has talked to, even like Trump has said, yeah, yeah, for sure, this guy wasn't born here. They say he was born in Kenya. That's the whole thing, right? Now, one, no. Two, <laughs> Yes, his father was born in Kenya, but his mother's American. Three, he was born in Honolulu, Honolulu, which is a U.S. territory. There is a birth certificate on public record you can go find. And yet everyone says that the documents are falsified and that he's basically a plant of presidency. And you can't tell them otherwise. But it's such a big thing. Maybe you can find a picture of this. I don't know. Phil Wolf. The owner of a used car dealership <laughs> <laughs> paid twenty five hundred dollars to have his birther billboard painted in Colorado. Okay, so like all over Colorado, there are these billboards that basically said like, "Show us the birth certificate, prove it." That pro you know what I mean? Like that's <laughs> how crazy it is, and. Obama had to not only release a copy of his birth certificate in 2008, but he had to follow up with a release of their original long form document in 2011. And then that reduced the number of people who believe in birtherism. But it became a thing that people got popular for 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 saying. So ob ob obesity isn't immune oh, from the conspiracy theories, you know. So that's yeah. So now you can say I'm a what a birtherist, perhaps. I'm a birtherist. I just something about that word doesn't sound right to me. It's really kind of yucky sounding. But anyway, that's <laughs> that's the idea, right? And then the number one, the one that's the most fun. I mean, oh wait, actually, I wanted to ask: Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite conspiracy out of the, theory? Out of out of the two you just mentioned, or just in just general? in general? Um, I can't think of one off the top of my head. Okay, there's lots. Some of them, some of them are kind of dark. I, I want, yeah, I want, yeah. I thought of one that was kind of dark. Mm -hmm. Um, the whole. I I am really suspicious of the building collapses in nine eleven. Oh yeah, that's a big one. I've heard a lot of people say like the buildings don't just fall like that. Right. They don't, they don't, that this doesn't physically right. in physics, it doesn't happen like that. So I've always right. had a, a eyebrow raise about that. Yeah. And 
<clears throat> jet fuel doesn't reach a temperature that can melt steel all that stuff i'm sure yeah i'm yeah. definitely on the i know where i stand on that but i'm not trying to cause too much too much drama here on the pod <laughs> right now uh, honorable mention by the way this is we're not on my top three but honorable mention the hollow earthers the earth is oh. hollow and all the aliens live in there yeah that's cool like mm. it's basically a big spaceship <laughs> and all the live. <laughs> Like forget where like lava and stuff comes from. That doesn't come from the middle. It actually comes from like barely below the surface. Mm. And then after that, it's just empty. That's that's what I'm talking about. Interesting. I like them. I like them a lot. But <laughs> number one, the moment you're over waiting for, the number one conspiracy theory believers <laughs> are the birds aren't real people. Oh my god, I love them so much. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now, here's the thing about that. That was made to be fake on purpose, okay? And that kudos to that guy. It's like I saw somebody said, when, a cons- when is a conspiracy not a conspiracy, but an elaborate piece of performance art? I was like, oh, this is so beautiful. But the <laughs> fact that it was created in 2017 just as a joke, and then it got real people to believe it was just, oh my God. So for those of you who don't know, the birds aren't real thing was basically made up by, mm, Mackendo, something Peter Mackendo, just a young guy. And basically, he said that all birds were killed off in the 60s and they were actually all surveillance drones from the US government. And even like Kennedy was killed because he didn't want to get rid of the birds. Like it goes that far, right? It got so bad that in 2019, no, in 2021, <laughs> there were some supporters of the birds aren't real movement <laughs> demonstrated in front of Twitter's San Francisco headquarters demanding that the company change its bird logo. And in 2021, the movement had several hundred thousand members. And there's all of the guy, and the, basically the guy who made it faked that he believed in it until 2021. He was like, yeah, just kidding. I, I knew it was kind of, but he got so much money for this. So What I'm telling all of you out there is that you can make your own conspiracy theory. And if you have enough conviction and some good graphics, maybe use Canva or something, you can convince a lot of people into your nonsense. So go for it. I really want to see what you leave a comment, what you're going to create. No, no, don't even tell us. Just do it. And then I'll, 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 I'll join. If I see something that's that ridiculous, I want to be part of it. But yeah, those are my top three favorites. I don't know of those of those three. Do you, do you like one more than the other? The birds aren't real. The birth ugh, birtherism and, and the the flat Earth. Do you have, do you have a preference? The, the the flat Earth is just dumb. It's not even it's not even fun to me. Aww. The the birtherism just loses on the name. Just solely on the name. Just, if it was called something else, I'd be it would be more fun to me. Of course, and the the birds are number one. Birds are sure. real, y'all. Tell your friends. We're this has been another episode of the Last Circus Podcast. I'm Jericho the Zap. And make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with people that really are into the conspiracy theory thing. Leave a comment with your favorites. And that's it for us. Because if I you got, believe enough, we'll I have got one more conspiracy theory. Oh, okay. Hit me. And that is everybody is trying to take our job. That's what they're trying to do. We don't even want you to work. They're going to take the job from you. Take the car job. Take the car job. Take the car job. Take the car job.